Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You are here with She Manifested Hers, where you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. If you new, welcome. If you old, what's cracking? And if you love me, I love you too. So let's just jump straight into this. I got a message. I don't know who this is for, but this has been weighing heavy on my heart. And I just felt the need to share this message. I don't know who this is for, but right now everything is all right. Right now, everything is all right in your life. I don't know what that means for you, but everything is all right. Everything is falling into place. Everything kind of going according to um, your plans in such a way. You know, everything may, you may have some things that is not going how you want it to go, but understand um, everything happens in divine timing. Okay. So with that being said, Greater is coming. Greater is coming. You have some type of inheritance that's coming, a large sum of money that's coming, that's due, owed to you. Um, I don't know if it's some back taxes that's owed to you, um, some type of inheritance, some type of money that um, was hidden from you is coming, but something is coming towards you in a form of money. Um, you probably been waiting on a check, a stimulus. A, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but this money is coming to you. But right now you feel like you okay. You've been maintaining, you've been getting through with your job and the assistance from other people. So you've been okay. But just know that whatever you've been waiting on, it is coming. It is coming. Greater is coming later. Okay. And also for a group of you, I don't know. It's something about your energy. It's something about your aura, your vibe, how you carry yourself, how you show up in the world. You are making people feel very insecure. You are making people feel very insecure because of how you move and how you moving in the world. You know, some people, um, you may have some people that's watching your every move, that's trying to figure out what you're doing, how you're doing it or whatever. And you not showing your hand and God is doing this on purpose. God is doing this on purpose. You are not you are not you was divinely built to move the way you move you was divinely built to move the way you move like you're not the type of person that want to put your business out in the streets tell everybody what's going on with you um post everything you're doing you're a very private person and you make people feel some type of way because of that the things you're doing in your life you're taking off you making shit happen you doing numbers. People can't keep up with you. You got copycats that cannot keep up with you, and that is bothering them. That is bothering them, bothering them to the core. And for a lot of them, the haters, the people, the enemies that's watching you, things is falling apart for them in their life because of what they spoke on your life. Because of you just being you. A lot of things is falling apart in their life. And it's hard for them to fandom that they can't tear you down. It's hard for them to understand like how you so powerful, how they can't just chew you up and spit you out like they did everybody else. You are untouchable. You are unshakable. Your boundaries is off the chain. You didn't come to play. You don't play about yourself. So the tower for them is falling. Their life is falling apart. Everything that they use to come against you is falling apart. It's falling apart. So with that being said, keep doing you. You making other people insecure. It has nothing to do with you. Your confidence and how that shows up in the world and how that make people feel uneasy has nothing to do with you. Keep living your life. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep focusing. Keep studying. Keep elevating. Keep mastering yourself. I, I feel like a lot of you all feel like your purpose in life is to to is to focus on who you are is to learn and study who you are and a lot of people is bothered by that because you're focusing and studying you and they cannot keep up with you your vibration is rising all the time you're vibrating so high they cannot keep up with you they can't keep up with you it's like you could be practical and realistic and still run after your goals and dreams you know how to balance. You have a good balance with, about yourself. You know how to go out, have a nice time, turn up, get lit, and still come back and balance out yourself. Level yourself out. You know when to go and when to stay. 
You know the difference. You you listen to the most high. You listen to God. You listen. You use your gift of discernment, your intuition. You really tap into who you are and you listen. That's why right now everything is all right. You good. You straight because you listen. You doing everything the most high telling you to do. Greater is coming later. You got to know that and you got to believe that. If you walking in your divine purpose and you listening and you showing up, and you, you sending love and blessings to those who don't send love and blessings to you. Know that all of that is being taken note of by the most high. You continue to do you. You continue to shine. Stay glowing. Stay putting your foot down on their necks. Because they're going to try you. They're going to come up against you. Not just by themselves. They, 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 they can't even bring you down by themselves. They have to recruit. They have to recruit people. To come and bring you down. You that powerful. But guess what? The trap that they set for you, they falling in it. Trying to trap you, stop you, hold you down. They don't want you to be seen. They don't want people to see that beautiful aura, that beautiful light about you. But that cannot be hidden. They cannot hide your light. Your light is so powerful, they cannot hide it. Your vibration is so high, they cannot hide that. <laughs> and it's crazy how people think they can do something like that. So you mean to tell me you stronger than God? You mean to tell me you can block what God is putting out in the world? You got to be insane. You got to be delusional. You got to be. So you insecure because of the way God built me, because of the way my mind is set, because of the way I go crazy about me. Because of the way I love me, because of the way I cherish me and care for me, the way I set my boundaries, the way I come into the world, my head held high because I know I'm a queen or a king because I know who I am. I know I came. I know who I came in this world to be because I know I'm a healer. And some people be trying to throw dirt on your name and make it seem like you're not who you say you are. And it's crazy because you don't have to prove nothing to nobody. All you got to do is continue to be you. Everything is just going to show up for itself. You don't have to prove anything. That's what people mess up at thinking you're supposed to prove yourself to them when you know who you are. You know exactly who you are. You don't have to prove anything. You know your potential. You know your you know your shortcomings. You know what you need to work on. And that's one thing about a strong woman or a strong man. You know you. You take accountability. You don't you don't take defeat as failure. You take defeat as motivation. Like, okay, this is not happening to me. This is happening for me. That means I need to go harder. That means I need to change this about myself. Let me focus on this. That's the way your mind works. You don't focus on everybody else. You focus on you. You focus on making yourself greater for later because your future is going to be off the chain. You're going to be living your heart's desire. If you've been praying about a house that you want, you're about to walk into that house very soon. It's going to happen fast. God is about to make changes in your life swiftly. Baby, he is about to... He finna turn you up. That car you been looking at test driving. Oh, it's yours. It's just a matter of time. Know that it's coming. Know that it's coming. So let's not focus on, you know, these people that's trying to tear you down. Don't, we ain't focusing on them. We going to focus on continue to elevate. Continue to give in. Continue being a person that they want to be. So don't allow anybody to take your energy, steal your energy, do try to dim your light, trying to hide you. And if you if you resonate with this message, you know what I'm talking about. You know the person that I'm talking about that's trying to come into your life and steal your shine. They want to shine. They want that. They the, all the hard work you put in. They want to just take that from you and put it in their own in their own life and not do no work. <laughs> They wish their money could just pay for these things and it cannot. People don't understand. Their money cannot pay to raise a vibration. Their money cannot pay for confidence. 